пацаны идти где-то. куда-то внести базу походу дрон бахнул только что разбудили меня тварь я просто лежу сплю и слышу как бахает что-то меня... мразь ах ну есть я не выходи Держи, слушай звук. Пидобот, он, блядь, прям над крышей прилетел, бля, буду. Охуеть. А куда? Краснодарская НПЗ. В ту сторону. Слушай, сейчас будет взрыв. Пидорасы, ебаные. Охуеть, ебать. Su-57 versus F-16. U.S. pilot assesses the Russian fighter's chances in combat. Even if the most powerful Russian Su-57 fighter enters the battle from a disadvantageous position, it will not be able to gain an advantage. This opinion was expressed by U.S. Air Force Reserve Colonel Jeffrey Fisher, reports Liganet Media Outlet thus answering a question about assessing the parity in the Ukrainian skies and the possible results of battles between Western and Russian aircraft, he said, Russian analogues of AWACS A-50 were shot down. Russian pilots are uncomfortable flying. There are not enough pictures in the air. Moscow believes that it has many aircraft and air-to-air -air missiles. It believes that it is ready to fight, but I would bet on F-16. In an air battle, the aircraft that has the advantage in speed, maneuverability, and data volume most often wins. According to him, Western Air Forces are designed to fight in a 30 versus 1 format. We are talking about the F-16 itself, but about many supporting assets. The AWACS Airborne Warning and Control System, the tanker, the Joint Stars radar system for surveillance of targets, the Global Hawk High Altitude Remotely Piloted Surveillance Aircraft, overheard sensors and Patriot missiles, and radar on the ground. Transferring an array of data to the pilot is an advantage. Noted, in real time, the F-16 pilot has so much raw data and information before turning on the radar that a civilian does not even need to train for effective use proved that it has the same capabilities. Recall that it was previously reported that Ukrainian pilots are currently undergoing training to fly Western F-16 fighters in France. The French Aerospace Forces have committed to certifying the training of 26 Ukrainians within two years. Ukrainian pilots are being trained in the hangars of an airbase in southwestern France, the name of which has not been disclosed for security reasons. President Vladimir Zelensky said that F-16 fighters from Denmark would arrive in Ukraine in the near future.